What's up gang, back with another video. This is Tom from Tiny Build Electrics where we help design and supply bespoke electrical systems for our wonderful community here in uh, the van life and tiny build community. So today, uh, just again, another short video. Uh, if you have a inverter charger, uh, namely anything from the MultiPlus range by Victron Energy, it sounds rudimentary, you know, if you're familiar with the products, you'll be aware of this, but um, you'll be amazed at how many people that we have met along the way that have a MultiPlus in their build, for example, in a van, and it's buried in the back of the van, they have to <laughs> climb into the back of their van and turn on the inverter every time they want to use the inverter. There are two very simple solutions uh, for making that a thing of the past. Today, we're just going to be covering one. It's a very simple digital multi-control panel. Uh, this, as the name would suggest, uh, allows you to connect a simple RJ45 from your Victron MultiPlus's VE bus port, and the other end simply goes into the reverse of this DMC uh, digital multi-control. Now, what's different from most inverter controllers, uh, which you have with this one, is, as I say, if you do have a MultiPlus and you have one of these installed, uh, you'll know. But uh, for those of you that don't, if you, I mean, obviously you have uh, the standard uh, replication of the rocker on the MultiPlus, so you have the on, off, and charger only, uh, which is relatively self-explanatory. But uh, we often get asked about what this um, LCD display is up here on the top right-hand corner and this, uh, this knob. So when you are connected, uh, this LCD display is illuminated uh, with a number up to normally around 16. Uh, and this is what's known as your um, input current limiter. So more often than not, it tends not to be used um, if you're a, particularly at a campground with a, you know, a relatively standard, let's say a 16 amp supply. It's not something that you, that you have to worry about. But let's just say, for example, you are at a, a campsite uh, tucked away down in the depths of Cornwall, or you may be in, uh, yes, yeah, somewhere on the continent and it's a small little campsite and the, the campsite owner can only afford to give you a, a shore power connection that has a six amp MCB. Uh, it does happen every now and then, it can happen. Uh, or often, you know, you can find if you've got, if you're at a campsite or a friend's house and it's a very weak AC source and it keeps tripping, you know, you're having nuisance trips, uh, the breakers keep breaking or the RCDs tripping. Uh, what you can do um, with the digital multi-control, um, you can also do it with the other methods, um, whether that's a Servo GX um, and the GX Touch, uh, or whether it is a, um, a V-Bus Smart Dongle. Again, we'll go into those in a different video. But um, what you can do is, let's just say you've been given a six amp breaker. Now this is currently, that would normally be reading 16. You would dial this down until you have reached the particular uh, amperage of the breaker that you've been given. So let's say six amp, for example, you dial this down to six amps, or if you wanna play it safe, knock it down to five. And that way, that's going to ensure that you uh, are bringing no more than five amps from the grid to stop any nuisance tripping of the um, of your shore power connection. Now, again, a lot of people don't realize that this is a, a feature of the MultiPlus, but um, a, a unrivaled feature that you will, will not find, uh, to my knowledge, anywhere else uh, in, the, uh, in the, the inverter charger world is what Victron Energy uh, are able to do with the MultiPlus is let's just say your um, input current limit has been knocked down to five amps. If you need to run six amps in your, in your vehicle, um, then what the MultiPlus will do is it will only take the five amps from, uh, sorry, the six amps, the five amps from the grid, from what you've set your digital uh, multi control to, but the additional one amp that is required, it will, what's known as power assist, which means it will supplement the additional amp that's required in, uh, by taking that power from your battery bank. Uh, so the charger will be charging your batteries, but if you need to power assist um, based on your you know, limited load from the grid, uh, it will draw that power from your battery bank to assist the rest of the loads. Now, this is a feature which is seldom used, at least you know, 
as far as vans are concerned. Um, on occasion, it might be used, as I say, if you have a weak AC source, but a fantastic, really easy to fit solution for having a remote on off of your multi plus inverter charger and giving you the flexibility to choose your AC input current limit. So that's all for today, folks. If you have any topics that you'd like us to, uh, to cover, as always, let us know down in the comments. We are here to put your mind at rest, answer any questions that you have. Uh, if there's anything that you uh, feel that we haven't covered on our topics, please do let us know. We are open to all and any criticism. All the best, have a wonderful day as ever, and take care.